Good morning. It's Wednesday, the 12th of October 2017, and welcome to Navigating Your Day. Twelve in Jinshin Jitsu came into the universe meaning thy will, not my will. So it's about submitting our will to divine will. And today gives us the opportunity to resonate with that energy. When we do this, our lives flow more effortlessly. This is also the um, appreciation of the polarity between our angelic nature, or the soul, and our animal nature, the ego. They both need to be working together in harmony. So if we look at nature, which is governed by this divine energy, things um, happen, there's a lot of hard work involved in nature, so it's not like nothing's going on there, but it has rhythm, and it has timing, and it happens effortlessly. It happens whether we want it to happen or not. So you don't find a tree in springtime going, oh, well, I'm sorry, I don't feel like shooting leaves, and I don't think buds are a good idea, and you know what, I think I've got a much more efficient way of getting straight to the fruiting process, and then we can produce more fruit, and then we can send it to market, and we can make a bigger profit. That's how humans operate. Um, in nature, it doesn't operate that way, and it flows effortlessly. So sometimes there's a drought, but the seasons continue. And sometimes the harvest is not as abundant, but it's still there. So today gives us the opportunity to harmonize ourselves with this flow of creativity and this effortless creation that permeates the universe all around us. Um, we still have, so sorry, 12 is a three energy, it's a fire number, right? And it's the number of the dance, remember, it's the number of the waltz. So again, when we can align ourselves with that rhythm, when we use that three to balance, three is a, three is a, uh, like a bridge, like a joiner, all right? It enables us to balance the ego, it enables us to balance the soul and the ego nature together. It, it enables us to balance the mind and the heart together. It um, connects us from the world above to the world below. We are the manifestation of that. So when we are aligned with that, then we can dance our way through life. So dancing is tiring. You do have to know the steps. You do have to follow. You can trip. You could fall. You could hurt yourself. But if you get into the rhythm of it, it is exhilarating and it flows. We've still got the double one energy that is permeating October, and underneath those two ones sits a two, so there may still be quite a lot of emotion going on. You may find yourself being quite emotional. There's nothing wrong with being emotional. Emotional is not irrational. Emotions are just emotions. Feelings merely want to be felt and acknowledged. They don't need to be fixed. The more we try and suppress them, the more they go underground and sabotage us. Um, the ones, once again, we have this opportunity for creativity, for stepping into our power. Now, three is a fire number, one's air. Air and fire together, really, whoosh, okay? So we have the potential for volcanoes, we have the potential for tornadoes within ourselves today. So do watch out for excessive impatience, um, being easily irritated by other people, people who can't see your long-term vision and goal as clearly as you can. There is a very real danger that um, you may be extremely impatient or very irritable. So again, get in touch with how you feel, um, so that and ground yourself so that you can actually you can actually stabilize that energy and use it to actually get yourself where you want to go, as opposed to trap yourself in the potential negativity of just repeating the same cycles over and over and over. The helper of today is the five, and five is about adaptation, and it's about change, and it's about excitement, and it's about um, inventing new ways to do things. And so it really enhances this creative energy of the one as well as the three. So today has huge potential for wonderful creative ideas, for creative projects, for collaborations, for networking, for meeting new people, for meeting new people that present you with new opportunities. So do keep your eyes open for that. The um, villain of the day is the eight. So uh, the, when the eight is in this position, we struggle to say no. We don't have firm boundaries. So we've got all this air and fire and a little bit of water, but like a lot of air and fire going on in the life map today. And so we can actually overreach our boundaries. We might actually encroach on other people's boundaries and we may find people are encroaching on ours. So the lesson of the eight in this position is to know what serves you and what doesn't serve you and know how to pace yourself, set your boundaries clearly and say no when there is something that is going to stretch you too much 
or it's going to cause you to overextend yourself or you're going to overpromise and underdeliver or it's just actually going to make you stressed and freak out okay do be aware of that today safety energy lock number 12 is represented on the middle finger so you can hold your middle finger middle finger harmonizes liver and gallbladder organ function energy those are the organs of believing and trusting in yourself and in the cosmic power of the universe or whatever you want to call it a um, couple of deep breaths on this middle finger can help to harmonize anger, resentment, disappointment, and grief. Uh, not grief, guilt, sorry. Um, they both start with G, right? Close enough. Um, holding this middle finger really helps to harmonize that impatience that you may find today and any potential underlying anger issues. Safety energy lock number 12 is here in the middle of the neck. So if you just cup your neck, I don't know if you can see through all this hair, there we go, you cup your neck like this, your fingers will be resting on safety energy lock number 12, and you can hold safety energy lock number 12 and the base of your coccyx. You can put the back of your hand on the base of your spine, and you can. this is best done lying down, otherwise this arm's going to get really tired. So you can actually hold those two safety energy locks, and that will help to align your will with divine will, and then life becomes less of a struggle. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will not be seeing you tomorrow. In fact, I'm off for a two-week trip to um, Caprivi in Namibia. There is not going to be any, um, what's the word? There will be cell phone reception, but I'm not having international roaming, and I'm not taking any Wi-Fi with me. So for two weeks, you guys are going to be on your own. You'll be okay. Just remember there's a finger for everything. So the, the thumb is harmonizing worry and anxiety. The index finger, subconscious fear if you're really scared the middle finger, anger and resentment, the ring finger, sadness and grief, and the little finger, the pretense and the trying too hard, you know, the I'm fine when actually you're not, and the perfectionism, you know, it's always got to be better, I'm not good enough, this is the finger for that. So hold your fingers in the next two weeks and I will see you on the, probably the 29th of October again. Bye.